What's going on? Good afternoon. Hi there. Greetings. What's up? What's up? My name is Alan Cox. Thanks to you and you and you. All three of you uh, for being here. Say hi to Bill Squire. He's right over there. Well, I'm so sorry. Hey, <laughs> creepy, huh? Ah, oh, I'm already screwing up. Mary Santora's back. What up? Oh, you are a little quiet there. Oh, okay. What's up? Uh, is that better? Yeah, that's I, better. Okay. Do you need more? Is no. She a, is she in offline? So they'll hear her on the live stream. I just, she is. I am in okay. OL. Everybody's in OL. That's right. The green uh, button. I want to make sure that everybody can hear you. She is in Midtown Manhattan. She is. In the friendly confines of iHeartRadio New York. Mm-hmm. Pound Cake is stuck here in Cleveland with us. Yes. Afternoon, white people. Back in Studio G. Did you blow through your Heinen's gift cards last night? Damn near. I got $13 left. Hey, that's pretty good. There's no way to know what 13 uh, subtracted from 50 is, but that's pretty good. What did you end up getting? I got, like, some stir-fry stuff. Oh, stir-fry stuff. All right. Did you go to the one down here, or you went to one? What's the one nearest Lakewood? Rocky River. Rocky River, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I went to the one here. Oh, oh, you went to the one down here? Yeah, because, I I mean, I like it. After the show last night? Yeah. Yeah. And did you get, um, did you uh, tell me, did you get, like, do they have rotisserie chickens? Is that anything that you would peek in on? I think they do. They have, they have like, a uh, deli um, fresh meat section. Yeah. But I didn't, I didn't go to that part because uh, that's, like, right when you walk in. I went, like, down to the grocery store part. So I didn't get that, though. You went, wait, wait, wait. You went right down. What do you mean you went down because to like, the grocery store part? So when you walk in, there's that big uh, oh, is oval. What, what is it? The, like the rotunda? Rotunda. That's what I was yeah. thinking of. Yeah, the big rotunda. And they have, like, the bakery there, the ice cream, all the other stuff there. Oh, that's like fresh, stuff like freshly that. Freshly yeah. made. Yeah. So when you walk a little further, you go down into the actual grocery You store. went through that area where everybody's sitting, like yeah. the lunch thing. Yeah. yeah. That's where I go. I always go in that side door. Mm-hmm. So, okay. You're Lower talking about when you go past the produce and down into the aisles. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That so, is a wild grocery store. That it they is. squeeze that into the old, whatever that is, the old Ameritrust building mm-hmm. or you know whatever that is. Yeah, I, I, that was the first time I shopped there. I, I've gone there one other time to get, like, Mitchell's ice cream because I think that that's the ice cream that they serve in there. It is. Um, and that was, like, during a game day, but I've never shopped there. I felt like a real um, downtown Clevelander. <laughs> Because all the people you. there. Did, did you have like a little buggy on your arm and you were tossing things in there? Now, when you walked out, did you have a paper, paper bag with spinach and a baguette sticking out of it? <laughs> no. Oh, it was a plastic like bag because I knew I was going to have to walk to my car. But it's just funny the people in there, even though it's a downtown grocery store, if you live down there, they don't give an F. Like they, that's where they live. So they probably live upstairs or live, you know, a couple buildings down so they're there and ladies there and they're like yoga pants and sweatshirts and hoodies and just like that it's just another day that they shop there yeah there's girls that look like that in every grocery store i know but you would think that this one is not just any old grocery store like anyone could buy it's <laughs> everyone stays at the nine basketball players at you know um any type of celebrity business people from all over the world that's a very you think they go grocery shopping when they're here if they need something on the fly, yes, absolutely. <laughs> right. Why would they not? It's right there in the building. Because I would think, like, if you're a high roller, you just call down to the front desk and go, hey, I need something, and then the hotel sends somebody next door to Heinen's. No, that's part of the fun. Oh, is it? I don't know. I've, I I've never stayed at the nine. So I'm pretty sure people know. have been, like, basketball players have been spotted in that grocery store. Okay. I, you know, and I wouldn't recognize them if they were, so that's on me. They're the tall ones. Oh, they're the tall ones. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, there you go. Mary was out yesterday because uh, she was being buffeted by 60 mile per hour winds. It was and windy. She, I was watching. Did you watch the time lapse of the Brooklyn Tower swaying back and forth? I did not. It's like the tallest building in Brooklyn. It's like a thousand feet tall, and you know, one of those super tall residential buildings. And they build them to move, obviously, because there's a lot of uh, potentially a lot of wind when you get to a building that tall and skinny, and it's pretty wild. But you were out I yesterday because you had to you had to condense all of your apartment hunting in one day. Uh, it uh, theoretically, over into this morning. I was gonna say there's no way you got it all done yesterday, dude. I'm so tired. Yeah, like I was up at 7:30 yesterday morning. I didn't get back until almost two in the morning because I had shows last night, and then we woke. Up, I had to wake up to move my car again this morning at eight. So it was like, and then we immediately went and saw two more places today. Did you get a parking ticket yet? No. 
Okay. Because I move my car when I'm supposed to. Okay. You move it to the other side of the street? Is that what it is? Well, you think it would be that easy. Um, but, yeah, you should be able to do that. But yesterday I had a, I drove around for an hour and 40 minutes before I found a place anywhere. And it was like seven blocks away. Hour 40. It was seven blocks. absolutely insane. Yeah. Absolutely unreal. Um, but we saw, uh, I think, six apartments yesterday and two this morning. And of all of that, we have put in an application to one. <laughs> so <laughs> we're hoping, and that even just went in today, like no joke, less than an hour ago. On the train ride here, I was submitting all the documents that you need. They need like- She was S&Ds, Bill. <laughs> submitting documents. They were, they need like 11 proofs of income. What? So I don't know if people are lying. We had well, to submit. I was going to say there are so there have to be so many loopholes because, like to your point, these places that say we need to verify that you could forty times your income. You know, we all know scumbags who have New York apartments. Like, there's well, that's what no I mean. way that everybody who's got a spot. and that's why I was like, there's no way we're not getting this apartment. Like, we pulled our credit. Um, my roommate's credit. We're both above seven hundred. I. Uh, but then they asked us for... Oh, good for you. <laughs> Thank you. They asked us for two months bank statements, the last three pay stubs, our 2022 and 2021 tax returns. Like, so I'm like, this is <laughs> They look at your iHeart pay stubs. Yeah. You're like, Ugh. Well, no. And then they wanted a letter of employment or a letter of intent from either your current employer or your f- future employer stating your income. So I'm like, do people just show up with nothing and they're like oh i think i might have a job next week because they made us prove that we make money in like six different ways and then we had to get like a verified cashier's check did you have to show receipt from your foot pick money no was that part of it i said i can provide other income through merchandise and things like that through like venmo and stuff but they were like you're between stand-up and radio my 2022 tax returns should be enough um but they uh it was just it felt so excessive I have never had to submit that much documentation for any place I've ever lived. I've never bought a house, but I've rented, like, I'd say at least four apartments, and it's never, ever been that crazy. Yeah. So um, we applied for a place, and he said it should be back by tomorrow, the application, which would be tomorrow afternoon. These were all in Astoria. All in Astoria. All over Astoria. All wildly different apartments. Um, The one that we ended up applying for that we really liked uh, was not... It was off market, so it wasn't advertised. It was this broker that we have been dealing with. He was like, oh, I got this place. It's actually a working daycare right now. He goes, so (laughs) Friday is their last day as a daycare, and then the owners of the building are turning it into an apartment. He's like, we can go look at it, but there are sleeping children, so you have to be quiet. <laughs> oh my so, God. like, we uh, went into this active day. Like, hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Pretty much. We, we were this this crazy little Italian lady was like, she was going a mile a minute. She owns the building. Her parents, she's owned it for 25 years. She grew up there. She grew up behind it or something like that. But they've been running the daycare, and since post-COVID, the daycare has been really slow. So we, like, went in, and we're in this daycare with, like, children asleep in a crib while we're trying to, like, <laughs> measure closets and stuff. It was wild. Um, hey, there's a kid in this closet. Yeah. But uh, that was the one we ended up applying for because the owner of the building, she really liked us. She was like, I really like you guys. I have one other client. I would prefer to rent it to you, too. She was like... Um, that goes very, a long way, by well, the way. Yeah. And she Whether was you're very buying good. a house from people or renting yeah, an apartment, you write a if they like you, yeah. yeah. Well, because she was like very, she's good looking, she's tight, she's tiny, but like big boobs, big butt. We couldn't tell if she had work done or if she was just like bona fide Italian, you know? And um, I was like, I think it really worked in our favor that we're like y- not too young, we're not 22, you know, we're in our 30s, we're attractive girls. And she was like yucking it up with us and talking about shoes and jewelry and makeup and all this stuff so um we, we found some common ground yeah. yeah we hit it off with her and like an hour after we left her place my the broker called us and was like hey i know you have to see two places but lisa loved you guys like, did you say really... i just need a lot of closet space to store all my gabagool <laughs> yeah right well she married a greek dude and when she sent her last name for us to make the security deposit out to i thought her name was fake like it is. Yeah, I'm yes. I'm Lauren DeGilio Smakadopoulos. Uh, it was. Hold on, let me see. Don't it's, put her name out there. Oh, well. Well, the Greek name is fine. Okay. I I don't know if I'm saying it right. Gorgicopoulos. 
Sure. Gorg Cop Copopolis. Sure. There's two men. It's, Copopolis. It's, dude, it's so long. Like the dad and like, Webster. I was like, that looks fake. That looks like someone was like, come up with a Greek name real quick, you know? <laughs> um, but she really liked us. We really liked her. And the thing is, too, that they're completely gutting the place and repainting it and doing everything because right now they'll remove the, the children first i hope remove the children remove the play places the walls are covered in like lions and zebras and like c crayons and <laughs> things like that so she's like it's gonna look like a house i swear uh so we're kind of going in sight unseen where we're like well, we trust you and she's like yeah my husband how do you guys feel about a toddler motif for like, the... You know what? At this point, we've seen so many places. Leave the kids. So I'll Queens, babysit what? them. So Queens seem to be the most affordable out of all the boroughs. Like people Queens are even... is not necessarily the most affordable, but you get the most space. You get good space, and it's especially Quiet. Astoria. Like it's neighborhoody, and it's close to like you can get into the city in a half an hour. Because mm -hmm. a lot, like part of Queens, goes deep into the island. It's not that whereas. Hard. Queens is kind of like its own little, like, turn off. Astoria yeah. is its, like, little area, Well, all the people but... who work in home lending are texting me and saying that post-2008 with the mortgage meltdown, they're like, all this kind of stuff is standard now. Well, and that I mean, was When the you buy thing... a house, it's like a, the financial equivalent of a rectal exam anyway, so. Dude, well, that's mm -hmm. what it was. I was like, this is insane. Like, because my, my roommate was nervous where she was like, I don't, like, what if we don't get approved? We only applied for one place. I'm like, I cannot see a reality where we don't get approved. Like, with everything we've pr submitted, we have more than enough money in the bank to cover because they're like, we need to see at least six months' rent in both of your accounts. Like, because the broker was saying that a lot of people are worried about COVID where they're like, you know, you're going to, if something were to happen and then you're just out of money for you the month, mm -hmm. you, you know, pay rent so. For the next six months without no Hopefully income. we'll find out by tomorrow and then... We might have to sign the lease tomorrow because my roommate leaves Saturday at noon. Wow. So Under I. Under the gun. All fingers yeah. crossed. All fingers crossed. Send up prayers, thoughts, whatever to the. Yeah, to I don't pray, but I take your point. Gods. Yeah, there you go. Uh, all right, good. I've got to take a break here. I have another $1,000 on the way for you. It's got your name on it, hopefully, courtesy of the Buzzard Bookie. So 2.30 is that next keyword. Uh, if you want to get to me via text, uh, 35192, and we'll be back.